Let's welcome Dr. Christian. Thank you. Thank you for coming for this special event. I have several people here. I feel so lucky I'm in this profession. And today, at the end, I will present several key to adult complex case because we're dealing with a lot of adult complex case. But before I get into my topic today, I would like to extend my appreciation to several individuals. The first one will be Dr. Jong Lin. I was so lucky to learn from Dr. Jong Lin 27 years ago when he gave a lecture about how important to take a record. So I learned from that and decide I'm going to get a good record and start to learn my orthodontic. Hey, I supposed to have 30 minutes instead of 50. And five years later, I got a chance to visit Indiana. I, I was so lucky to become Dr. Roberts' first PhD student. And I'm so excited. So I spent my most exciting time, five years in Indiana. And I learned a lot. I want to say thank you, Dr. Robert. You did, you tried your best <laughs> <laughs> to convert an uneducated person to become a little bit educated, not fully educated person. But you did a good job. And finally, I want to say thank you to Johnny. When I settle when I finished my study in Indiana, I went back to Taiwan and I pretty much spent most of my time to play golf. And one day, Johnny called me, hey, you need to study a little bit about also, don't you? Because it changed a little bit. So I started to, to go to Dr. Lin's office to get join the study club. So I learned a lot at that time, especially those mini school that Johnny talked about. It. So, so far, we've been talking about the also imprint combined. There are several categories which is so important for us to learn that most of our patient complex case, they are several, multiple missing. So before you put an imprint, you're supposed to do the space redistribution to get the perfect space in order to put your imprint. Number two, they, since we have multiple missing, sometimes you will get the location for the entire skills. So that needed to be done, especially for the intrusion to get the inter or crucial space adjustment. Finally, Sometimes we need to do some implant site development to get a to get adequate bone border and bone heart in order, in order to hold that implant. The last category is EPC. So I bet at the Robert, you cannot find number five. I bet you cannot, even you are a professor. But today, things we have several People may already present variety of the, the first three categories. I'm going to give you the last one, which is the crazy one. So let me find a crazy one. Since we are crazy to put a implant, so it will be appropriate for the last case, we take that implant out. So before I give you that case, I want to tell you what I truly believe. I truly believe in case study because I'm visual learner. I can only learn when I see it, when people show me step by step. I probably cannot learn when people just give me theory or principle because I'm not that credible and I grew up in countryside. So what I study case is we, every case we review and every key step we review and if we find mistake, we brutalize the right or wrong because every man makes mistake. The man make no mistake, make nothing. 
So I'm pretty upset to make all kind of mistakes. Next one, since Jiang Lin brought up the gummy smile, I'm going to share with you the gummy smile case that I, I treat I normally treat in my my office. And I think that's something that how to connect the dot. Because if you know the implant surgery, the gummy smile correction should be quite easy for anyone who know the the implant surgery. How do you solve this gummy smile? Patricia at the age of 25 with massive gummy smile. Would you send her for also nasal surgery? Let me tell you. Also nasal surgery is not an option. She has no interest at all about also nasal surgery. She wants a conservative. So what will be your treatment plan for this by up protrusion? Convex pova. <laughs> Is that convex pova? Convex pova. By mesilla protrusion. And how would you say this? Every time I have an endo or have a crown, I'm going to take that out. And that will end up a typical extraction. I don't care. I don't I think the mini school will solve that problem. So mini school is pretty good to solve a typical and also the midnight off. And I remember that there is a famous book I'm going to tell you this story. There is a famous book that published two years ago and became the best 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 selling book in Taiwan for ten days. Amazing. And it was made by and in that famous book, book called Geology, they, they are famous collection of speakers. They talk about real artist symptoms. So I'm going to simplify my treatment for therapy for dummy smart within three categories. And I hope that everyone in this room will be able to execute that treatment plan. So first is also orthodontic mechanic for gummy smile correction. Actually, it's quite easy because we saw that many, many times. Let's take a look at 16 months in treatment and let me prolong that up and show you that we use two mini, two mini school up front and <laughs> you are looking at watch. <laughs> it's for body. Exactly. Don't worry, Johnny. And we use the other two mini school in the posterior. And the upper mini, the, the anterior mini school is 1.5 by 8 stainless steel, posterior 2 by 12. We start and look at carefully the center of resistance for the tooth and for the entire mesh. And if I, if I were wrong, First, when you have a power chain, the center of resistance was here for the incision. So you pretty much will get an intrusion and you will fray the outcome. So you create a moment, so you fray the outcome. And you also have a retraction force. With this retraction force, you have retraction and reflection. And also, you create a moment. This moment will have an intrusion force. So there are two in, intrusion force put it together, so you get a massive intrusion for the entire mess. And because we have a retraction, the mess also retract a little bit. That's why we saw the convex profile by mess of protrusion. So it will end up like this. So that is the orthodontic mechanic to correct the gummy smile. And the school I use, I only use four kinds of school. They are divided into two categories. One is outside the root, one is between the root. For the upper anterior I use between the root is 1.5 by 8. The rest of it I use outside the root is big school. And 90% I use this school. Only very few impacted I use this school with hole because for impacted I need it. They were just very few. And the other one is for portrayal or grammar school. I use 
2 by 14. That's it. The second step is the biology basic for gummy smile correction. In order to appreciate the bio biological reason, let me show you this famous scar. And let me pull it up for you. And I want to tell you, there are three lines. It's very important. First is that digital margin. The second is CEJ. Finally, is bone level. And from the bone to the CEJ is biological. It, it was attached by junctional epicelia and connective tissue attachment. So we need to preserve that two millimeter biological risk in order to protect the organism. It's like a protection. So with that basic idea, if we look back, and we focus on this area, and then we focus on this trick for treatment, and draw that three line for you, it will be a gingival margin, and then the second line will be CJ. And finally, we have bone label. With that, there are three possibilities with the school to intrude it. The first possibility is you intrude the bone with the screw. That's the idea. But sometimes you might just intrude the tooth. And most likely, most likely, you will intrude the bone along with intrude the tooth. So you get a very short tooth. The proportion is not right. So most of the time, you will get this result. This will be, most likely, they will happen like this. So if that happened, what would you solve this problem? Then, surgical combination might be the best way to do it. So, let me go through the detailed procedure for surgical combination from the big gummy smile to small gum. This is post also treatment by pre surgical combination. This is post surgical combination. And let me show you how we did it. First, we get a local anesthesia with something. Son, you have to listen carefully. <laughs> I'm going to do a surgical lens on your tooth. So, and then you get a 15C uh, braid and make an internal paper to cut the gum. You always cut the gum before you trim the ball. So before you raise the flap, you're supposed to cut the gum first. Once you cut the gum, you raise the flap, and then you have to look at from the CET to the bone. There's not enough space, supposed to have two millimeter. So this is too short. So we are going to cut the, cut the bone and preserve two millimeter biological ways. Sometimes here you get a little bit exposes and you want to remove the bone to smooth that contour. So you can also use this. Code. Number five carbide bird. I love this number five carbide bird. It just smooths that out. It will take you about two minutes and sixty seconds. Okay. So that is the way we we contour. We trim the bone. Alveolar plasty. We trim the bone around here. We also trim the bone above the CZ. So we get into, finally, we suture it with four or gold tanks. And that's post-surgical crown lensing. And final evaluation for this case. Six days, we remove the stitch. And two months later, the gingival margin stay pretty st stable. And look at that crown lensing effect. It, Oh, okay, five minutes. And the key for intrusion is you need to apply light force in order to prevent root resorption. So you need to check the x-ray to find out is there any resorption there. And look at that profile. You'll be surprised. Is that the same girl? It looks totally different. And the face getting longer 
and also they have so-called vortex effect by the vortex. So in order to appreciate, we need to put a same position. When people present pre-treatment and after treatment, they didn't really position the head correctly. Sometimes, Dr. Dr. Jeremy will point out pre-treatment, they will lift the chin like this, and after treatment, they just put it this way. That's classroom correction. So what I would suggest you to do is you draw a line, a guideline like this, from here, here to the eye. So you'll be able to position pre-treatment posture. And it's so simple because it's built in the keyboard. We just try it. We only, we only spend about 30, 30 seconds. So it's like I know. Can you believe my mentor? My mentor? They are the same girl. Mm -hmm. Just also only treatment with simple surgical problems for me school, which was produced by Newton say. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Is that correct? Is that correct? I'll give you your next appointment. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> 80% discount. <laughs> so that's the same girl. I was so amazed. How could that possible that with this simple approach, we'd be able to intrude the tooth, intrude the omega that upward, and you look at the superimposed, you'd be surprised. The way we did it is we return the whole mess up, we intrude the whole mess up, we got into this state. And finally, you look at carefully. Years ago, a couple of years ago, if people show me that you can intrude the whole mess, I would say, you probably did that tracing correctly. But today, I kind of convince myself it is possible. It is possible. If it's not possible, how could this family's fire become this beautiful, sweet girl? So, the reasonable explanation is we'll be able to use school to through the whole mess hour and we train the whole mess. To conclude today's lecture, there are three key for coming to my correction. Number one, whole mess that infection and distillation with school. Number two, surgical quantity is very important to review the biological risk. Number three, smile training. Just tell the patient, don't smile to be, otherwise it don't, it won't look sweet. Okay. So with that, if you can present a case like that, finally, I will encourage you to write up a case and publish in this ICO, ICOI with every detailed procedure, which people can benefit from how you fix this case into this stage. And I think this this journal can benefit a lot of beginner, a lot of orthodontic. And we also use the DICIE to evaluate our case. And But the journal is just our first step. The next step we're going to do is use this journal and transform this material into a 3D ebook. And the next year, we are going to publish the other new book called Adult Complex Case. So so far we be, we already finished so many ebooks. People people used to ask me, Chris, how could that possible? For an uneducated person from Taiwan can publish so many. We start the robbers help and everybody can join this group and publish the best book. You did the possible. You did the impossible because you didn't realize it was impossible. Ladies and gentlemen. I will encourage you to join us and become the part of it to conquer the world. Thank you.